Hey guys, first of all, Happy New Year. I hope 2016 is very good to you all. That said, I want to kickstart 2016 on this channel with a new modding project. As some of you might know who have watched my older videos, my iMac G4 sadly died. All the internals not working anymore, so I gutted the entire thing, dismantled it, and I'm going to put a new screen in there and use it as a monitor for my Mac Mini in an audio setup. The idea for this project came for me when I got a record player for Christmas. It's very cool, it has a USB on the back so you can plug it into pretty much any machine. And I tried it out with my Mac Mini, it's plug and play, it works just fine with Logic Pro. The only monitor I have at the moment is a really crappy 4x3 17 inch. And that's definitely not good enough for the setup I have planned. And since the iMac has no internals in it whatsoever, why don't I just stick a screen in there? Those of you who don't know, LCD screens are controlled by a controller. It's just a little circuit board that you plug into the screen and you can get video out of it. Pretty simple. One of these kits, which is what I'm using, is about £15 on eBay. But this kit comes with all the electronics I need bar the display. So what display have I gone for? It's not ideal by any means. It is glossy. It's a Samsung model. It's 17 inch. The resolution is 1440 by 900 that resolution is ideal because that's what the original resolution of the iMac G4 was. The aspect ratio is also 16 by 10 so you have to watch out for that and not get one that is 16 by 9 which is more common. The disassembly of the iMac G4 is a fairly common and documented process so I'm not going to show you that but what I am going to show you is it completely dismantled and where I'm going to put everything. So this part here is probably the most important this is the arm that connects the screen to the base. Now this is where all the wires will flow. As you can see the spring has popped out so it is no longer functional and it is held in place by about 150 to 200 pounds of pressure so that's great. Trust me it's fun getting that back in place. It is possible though. So the wires from the base end to the arm here and they just go up here and then they just go out the other end into the display. So that's where the wires go. And this is obviously the base of the iMac G4 itself. I've dismantled everything, it's got zero internals whatsoever, and this is where the controller board will be sitting. Obviously on the back it has no original ports because all the internals are gone, bar the power supply. I've got the IO shield for this somewhere and I will definitely put that back on to keep it as original looking as possible. Finally we have the display enclosure, so this is where the new Samsung LCD display will be going, so we just lift this bezel up like that and it will just come off and so we secure the screen in there possibly its inverter as well and then the cables go out through this hole here into the arm so that's about it for this planning stage video i've got everything ordered and it should be arriving within the next couple of weeks so expect updates very soon so that's it for now i hope you follow this project it's going to be absolutely fantastic thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one